Hey guys, I got another video, and according to the title, this is a bit of a little bit of a dream come true for me. Just a tiny bit. Um, let me, uh, let me basically tell you what this is by saying this. <clears throat> I watched a movie last night called, uh, 007 James Bond Tomorrow Never Dies. Many of you have probably seen it. It's got Pierce Bronson, who I believe by far is the best James Bond. And, uh, it's got, uh... Michelle Yeoh, and that's the Bond girl in there, and it's a pretty good James Bond, in, in my opinion. Some people criticize uh, the guy playing Elliot Carver, the main bad guy, as not being that great. I don't know, I'm just a Bond, a huge Bond fan, so, you know, I deal with it. Well, anyway, at one scene in the movie, he, uh, James Bond is uh, going to Wei Lin's, Michelle Yeoh's, Wei Lin's uh, apartment, or hideout, or whatever you want to call it, high-tech hideout. And at this point in the movie, he gets some new gadgets. Uh, one of the things he gets is a Walther P99. And there's even some... It's it's a pretty interesting because there is actually some dramatic music uh, playing because it, it's kind of representing the end of an ear going from the PPK to the P99. So that's pretty cool. But before that, uh, James Bond also gets uh, something new. And uh, that thing that he gets is one of these. An Omega Seamaster Professional 300 meter chronometer bond edition. Uh, they actually, this watch has been made so popular by James Bond, they actually call this version of the watch the Bond version with these skeletonized hands and the blue dial and the blue wave, uh, blue wave dial there and the blue bezel. And yes, I finally got one. <laughs> I sold my tag because I figured I can sell the tag. And nothing wrong with it, but you know, I just who doesn't want the James Bond watch? I even mentioned this in a few videos ago that I wanted a James Bond watch and then uh, the Rolex Submariner, but I mean, come on, this is the James Bond watch. Anyway, I sold the tag and I bought one of this used, and it's in surprisingly good condition for being used. Um, I got it today, and the only problem, quote unquote, problem right now is it's running slow, it's running a little bit out of uh. It's running a little bit out of the, the COSEC, C-O-S-C parameters. Uh, it's a little bit slow. But considering that, if you can see back there, down there, where the watch case meets the watch back, uh, it's never, ever been opened. So it's never been serviced. <laughs> it's never been serviced, and this watch was purchased in uh, 1999. So considering that it has never been opened and serviced, and it's only running not that slow it's it's definitely running slow but it's not you know it's not like a couple minutes a day off or anything like that uh i say that's pretty good and i think i'm actually going to have it sent either to omega or if i can find a local jeweler that i trust enough to do it and and get that perhaps serviced or regulated or whatever needs to be done for it but anyway this is the omega seamaster 300 meter professional dive watch um I personally believe, like I just mentioned there, that James Bond, that Pierce Bronson makes the best James Bond, and in Goldeneye, the first uh, movie that Pierce Bronson was actually in, he had this watch, but he had the quartz version, and in Tomorrow Never Dies, he switches over to the mechanical version, this version right here, certified chronometer. Got my focusing stick here to help me out. Come on, you have a purpose, and why aren't you filling that purpose? Come on! There we are. It has that beautiful blue wave dial there that the Omega Seamaster is known for. And it has some of the features of this watch. It has a 120 click, very smooth bezel here. Ugh, the only problem is, as it's been mentioned before, is that Omega uses their scalloped bezel here, so it's a little bit hard to get a grip on but you it's not impossible <laughs> it's just a little bit hard to get a grip on uh it uses omega's own uh 1120 movement which is based off an eta movement but heavily customized by omega it's eta's best movement and omega takes it and adds it adds two jewels to it and they plate some stuff uh and they actually make it a very very high-end movement it, it's running at that movement omega's 1120 movement caliber or whatever you want to call it is running at uh, eight beats per second which is the same as a rolex some people actually consider these omega watches uh better than rolexes because honestly <laughs> 
you know, I do want to get a Rolex. I mean, I'm not going to cut them down, but Rolexes almost look a little not cheap to me, but I guess their brand has been cheapened by the uh, complete number of counterfeits that they have and uh, that everybody knows what a Rolex is. Everybody's, you know, rocking the Rolexes, as they say. So, I mean, Omega's different, and, and it's James Bond's choice. That's 100% the reason I uh, I wanted the Omega Seamaster. And finally, a little bit of a dream come true here. I am the owner of the Omega Seamaster. Look how beautiful that sweep second hand is. I can't get over that. Uh, so, again, hasn't been serviced, but I, I, I think I will break down and go ahead and buy a service for it. Because uh, I think that I will be sticking with this watch for quite some time now. Uh, more features of it, like I said, it's got the, the blue unidirectional 120 click bezel, very smooth, like I said, it's hard to turn, but it's also very, very smooth to turn, got the blue wave dial there, uh, the 1120 movement, uh, water resistant to 300 meters, all of that has been tested, it says uh, on the bezel here, the Omega symbol, you have a Seamaster professional chronometer, it was certified as a professional chronometer when it left Omega's factory, and uh, there's, a, there's a card you can get that, that proves that. But again, after after years of not being serviced, it, it drips a little bit, but it's still acceptable for my needs until I get it serviced. Anyway, sapphire crystal, of course. Uh, of course, huh, huh. Uh, over here, you got your crown with the Omega symbol on it. Screw down crown, of course. If you unscrew it, uh, it's got three positions. There's the winding position, which is the first position when you pull it out. This is a uh, movement that you can actually hand wind, unlike uh, the Orange Monster, where you could not, could not hand wind it. Uh, you pull it out one more. That's uh, setting the hands, which don't forget tonight is Daylight Savings Time. If you're watching this on the 12th of March, it's the end of Daylight Savings Time or the beginning. I go, get those things confused. We're going ahead. We're springing ahead an hour, so don't forget to change your clocks. And uh, you pull it out one more, and you have the... Uh, you pull it out one, get the date, two is the hands, and basically that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, that's what the crown does, and you screw it back down. Over here we have the helium escape valve. Uh, never going to use this, but it's 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 not completely useless. I mean, for a professional dive watch like this, uh, what it does is if you're going to be in a diving bell, which basically um, deals with uh, decompression and compression to get you down to certain depths of mixed gas diving. So again, very professional diving. Uh, you can uh, helium. In, what the, in these dive bells can seep into uh, the in, in between the gaskets and the crystal. It can get in the gaskets and get behind the crystal and blow the crystal right out. So you unscrew this uh, helium escape valve. It can release helium. On the back, we have the sealed back because, again, it's never been opened. Uh, the beautiful Omega Seamaster Horsey. See you, Horsey! And the screw-down case back, which ensures the uh, water resistance to 300 meters. Uh, it's got the serial numbers on here. And it is great. It is a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be coming off of the Luminox. Um, but I love that. It really, really feels well made. Uh, talking about screw down crown, this just feels so well made. Like I saw in another video, buttery smooth. Yeah, it's buttery smooth. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, they have a new version of this watch, the coaxial version, and there's three reasons I did not get it. One, price. Obviously, I'm not going to lie about price. I'm not a freaking millionaire. Though, you know, this is an expensive watch. I paid for this whole kit. It came with the box and the the, uh, the manuals and stuff like that. I paid for this whole kit uh, $1,150. Bucks. I bought it on eBay, <clears throat> and uh, so it cost me $1,150. Expensive, yes, but before everybody goes jumping, oh, you know, that's a fake, or, you know, how can you possibly have that money, much money, you're only 20. Um, I'm not going to say my, my whole family has been successful and everything like that, but, you know, I, I graduated college when I was 19. I only went for two years, but I still graduated college when I was 19 and got some got some pretty good paying jobs for, for my current situation. And I still live with my parents because I'm only 20 years old, so, uh, you know, I have money to buy things like this. So uh, that's why I buy the tags, and now I finally got the Omega. So I just thought, I thought I'd put that out there. So again, eleven fifty for this whole deal here. You get the watch. It was actually perfectly sized for my wrist when I got it. I was pretty happy about that. On here, it's the uh, the Omega CMS Professional Class. A little little bit of desk diving scratches on there. That doesn't bother anything whatsoever. Beautiful clasp system. And the uh, the skeleton clasp here. Clasp that back up. And beautiful, beautifully soft. I don't, I don't want to say soft, but uh, slinky band. It feels really, really great. It's also much lighter than, say, the Luminox, the Orange Monster, or something like that. It's, it feels really, it just melts into your hand when you have it on. Um, it came with the, uh, the white Omega box here. And I'm running out of time, so it's going to kind of be quick. came with the red inner box. 
and in here is the chronometer certification the oh my god you can see my serial number oh no uh, the international warranty and all your operating manuals so not bad for 1150 i must say in great condition again running a little bit slow because it's never been serviced but that is that is definitely definitely excusable it's not completely out of whack just running a little bit out of specifications so i think i'm going to go ahead and uh eventually maybe a couple months down the road maybe a year down the road get it serviced and uh, if there's anything else I need to update, I want to tell you. So thanks for watching my little dream come true here. You guys have a great day.